Even though it is one of the smallest continents in the world, Europe has a large economy which is the backbone of this world. The countries in Europe have an insanely high combined GDP of 17 trillion as of 2021. So the continent is truly a financial powerhouse. A lot of components come together to make such a high GDP. Every business, from small to average, play an important role in cultivating each country's economy. These small industries are essential, but they obviously aren't hugely responsible for the humongous GDP. It's the titanic companies that make Europe as valuable as it is now due to their colossal revenue. The continent is filled with the biggest industrial giants on this planet. Europe has enormous companies in almost every niche of the industry. From automobiles manufacturers to gas corporations, the continent is blessed with the leading establishments in everything. But out of all these behemoths, which ones are the largest and most influential? Here are top 10 biggest companies in Europe based on their revenue. Deutsche Telekom is the largest telecommunications company in Europe right now. The corporation is probably most famous for its mobile subsidiary called T-Mobile. Telekom is based in Bonn, Germany and was formed in 1995 as a state-owned company but was later privatized. The German provider is the go-to telecommunications service for millions of people living in Europe. From the internet to SIM cards and mobile phones, the establishment provides you with everything you need. These services result in Telecom having one of the most enormous revenues in Europe. The company has a mind-boggling revenue of 115 billion per annum. Telecom has the 10th highest revenue in Europe due to this turnover. Its basis in the technology in the 21st century makes it one of the most influential companies in the world. Telecom has also appeared on the Fortune 500 numerous times with its latest ranking being 86th. Hence, this German tech company is a big fish in Europe's ponds. If you own a car or have visited a petrol station, there is a high chance you have seen the Total logo. The Energy Corporation has a petrol pumps all over the world and is one of the largest oil gas companies on the planet. Being in the energy business, Total obviously has heaps of money. It is the 25th biggest company in the world according to the Fortune 500 and with a revenue of 119.7 billion, it is easy to see why. The company was founded way back in 1924 and is set in Corbavoy west of Paris. Total has been producing and refining petrol for almost a century. Being one of the seven super major oil corporations, it is a true giant of the modern world. When you have a power like this in your continent, it's hard not to flourish. In a time when energy is an essential source, Total has a strong position in the continent. Another French company on this list is the insurance agency AXA. Based in Paris, AXA is a multinational service provider. It provides financial and investment facilities in many continents. From North America to the Middle East, AXA operates everywhere while abiding to the laws of those countries. The insurance company is one of the most influential on the planet due to its far-reaching amenities. It is the global insurance company as deemed by some and the revenue of 128 billion speaks for itself. Even the AXA name has an interesting story behind it. The name was chosen in 1985 because it was easy to pronounce for natives of any country. And considering their international endeavors, a name that rolls of the tongue would help a lot. Seeing their worldwide popularity, it really did help the cause. Like AXA, Allianz is also an insurance company. Allianz is based in Germany and is popular for the financial services it provides. At the core of the resources it provides its asset management and insurance. In 2014, it was named the world's biggest insurance company by Forbes. Allianz has one of the largest asset management divisions on the planet. 
assets worth almost 2.4 billion are under the firm's management and the division consists of many other subsidiaries. With partnerships all over the world and the revenue of 136 billion, it's one of the strongest establishments on the planet. Exor Group is a peculiar company in this list as it is a holding firm rather than a manufacturer. But the products under its authority make it one of the most powerful companies in Europe. If you don't know what a holding company is, it's an establishment which holds assets in the interest of a party. The party in this case is the Agnelli family who are the controllers of Exor. Exor is based in the Netherlands and holds huge assets for the Agnelis. These assets include Juventus FC, Ferrari, The Economist, an international newspaper and construction firm CNH Industrial. With a revenue of 136 billion, these assets definitely show their worth for Exor. Glencore is a commodity trading and mining corporation based in Switzerland. As a company based on the commodity trading, Glencore mines supplies like oil, minerals, metals, gas and trades them all over the world. It has specific offices for different commodities throughout the planet. Glencore was listed as the 10th largest company in 2015 by Forbes magazine and with a current turnover of 142 billion dollars that makes total sense. The company was founded in 1974 but reached its current size after a huge merger with a mining company Extrata. Its trading in raw assets makes Glencore a strong establishment of Europe. The Daimler AG Group, more popularly known as the Mercedes-Benz Group, is one of the world's leading automobile manufacturers. The Automotive Corporation is located in Germany and is probably the most popular car developer on earth. The Mercedes-Benz cars are the most well-known production of the company, but that's not the only thing they make. The group is also one of the biggest truck manufacturers on the planet. It also has shares in some other leading automobile manufacturers like Aston Martin and Denza. All this fame and automobile production is backed by an insane revenue of 175 billion. The Mercedes-Benz Group is one of Europe's strongest corporations. Another oil and gas company which is presented all over the world is Shell PLC. Shell is a multinational company and has operations in over 99 countries around the world. It is present in every part of the oil and gas industry and is principally based in the United Kingdom. Shell is also one of the super major energy corporations and has been listed in the top 10 of Forbes Global 500 every year since 2000. This reputation is shown in the company's yearly revenue of 183.2 billion. So, Shell is a big part of Europe's economic prowess. Like Shell, BP is also one of the super major oil and gas companies of the world. BP is also based in London and works in every niche of the oil and gas industry like Shell. BP has operations in around 80 countries worldwide and many divisions the largest of which is the BP America One in the US. BP was founded in 1908 and has been expanding since that day with rapid speed. With an yearly revenue of $183.5 billion, BP wins the European crown of the biggest oil and gas companies. Despite all this talk about major energy establishments, the most valuable company in Europe is actually a car manufacturer. Volkswagen is the most valuable corporation in Europe based on yearly revenue. The automobile company is based in Germany and was the world's largest maker of cars from 2016 to 2019. Volkswagen has a huge market in Europe and is the largest seller of automobiles in the region. The company owns many car manufacturers like Audi, Lamborghini and Bugatti, which others consider to be more classier. Volkswagen was the seventh largest company in 2020, according to Forbes, and the mind-blowing revenue of 253 billion backs up that position. Being the leading provider of transport across the world and Europe, it's safe to say Volkswagen deserves to be the most valuable company in the continent.
If you would like to know the names of 10 richest people in Europe, click on the next video and find out. Hope you enjoyed it and we will see you in the next one.